Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna. Today I'm going to be doing another inspired by video. I'm going to be doing three looks in this video and then three looks in another video. Inspired by the Wayward comic book series covers and there are six covers in total. This is cover number three. This is look number three here. There's two others in this video and then three in the second video. Wayward is one of my favorite comic book series. It's a fantasy supernatural series set in Japan uh, about a girl named Rory Lane who moves from her dad's place in Ireland to her mom's place in Japan and she starts to notice that some weird things are happening. She can kind of see a pattern and a weave around her to see what is going to happen next. She can see sort of the pattern of the universe and there's other people at her school around her that also have different abilities and so they all start of they all sort of team up and start battling these ancient Japanese creatures called yokai. And at the end of each volume, they actually teach you the true history of the yokai in Japan, which is another reason why I really like it. It's not just the supernatural element to the book, it's the fact that they are actually teaching you real Japanese history along the way. So it's a really cool book. If you do end up reading it, let me know how you like it. And uh, without further ado, let's just get into the first three looks. So this is going to be the inspiration for the first look. This is book one, which has uh, issues one through five. There's going to be a total of six looks because there's six books collecting all 30 issues. So this has a lot of blue in it. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to go for sort of that nighttime look. There's a little bit of pink here, which I want to kind of get, and then sort of like a little bit of this lime green in here um, but definitely I want to get the different colors of blue so I've already done my face I'm gonna do that for each look prep my face ahead of time and just focus more on the eyes especially uh, cheeks and lips but the eyes are gonna be the focus so I'll zoom in close and then we'll get started on doing look number one I'm gonna start by taking this shade down here which is like a purple blue and it's quite dark. I'm going to put that through the crease. I'm just using a big fluffy brush for this and because this is a really dark shade to start with it is going to take a little bit more blending that's okay. I'm going to take this matte, sort of bright cobalt blue. I'm going to start putting that on the lid. And this is just sort of a fluffy packing brush. And this shade is going to get covered by other colors, <laughs> but uh, it's going to provide a nice base for everything, nice blue base, because I kind of want everything to blend more easily so it'll be nice to have something blue underneath even if at least part of it gets covered it's okay as I get in towards the inner corner I'm going to make sure that there's less and less color there for the lime green also want to make sure it does blend all the way up into the darker crease color. We can also do that with a smaller blending brush though, so don't worry too much right now. So speaking of that smaller blending brush, that's what I'm going to take right now. Just a little bit of extra color on it and just blend through the crease. To add some depth on the outer corner, I'm going to be taking just a regular matte black shade on the same fluffy packing brush I used for the blue. 
just going to start with a little bit and see where it takes me because this one's actually pretty pigmented. So this black also, it's pigmented, but it has trouble um, blending out. It tends to stick down in one spot. So what I like to do is just take more of the previous shade and go back over in order to blend. And that's what you can do with any dark color. For the center of the lid, I'm taking a little bit of a single shadow. This is a duochrome. It's not focusing. This is a duochrome. That's sort of a blue purple that I think will look nice on the center lid. So again, we have that bright blue base there. So we're still going to see that. <clears throat> this is just going to add some dimension over top of that. And you can wet your brush if you want to. This looks really nice on its own, even without wet brush. So we're going to get that sort of lime green color going. I'm going to take this color here, which is a matte sort of lime chartreuse. It has a little bit of glitter in it. I'm just going to take that on a domed brush. And start putting that on the empty space. This will look even brighter if you have a white base underneath, but it's plenty bright on its own. I'm gonna put that onto the inner corner and a little bit down on the inner lower lash line as well. For the lower lash line, there is that color that's a little bit pink. So I'm going to take this shade here. It's a satin, sort of pinky red. I'm just putting a little bit of glitter over top of the lime. Just using my finger. And so that's the eye look up close for Wayward book number one. To finish off the rest of the face, I think I'd like to do something quite simple because the eyes are very uh, both bright and dark. Um, so I'm going to go fairly simple on the cheeks and then figure out what I want to put on the lips because I haven't quite figured that out yet. So cheeks, I think I'm just going to take this pure Anada pressed cheek color in Sweet Pea. It's a nice neutral cheek color. You can't really go overboard with this. And for highlighter, I'm going to use the Annabelle Perfect Glow Highlighter in Topaz, which is a white gold and kind of picks up on a little bit of the gold detailing I didn't put on the eyes. For lips, I'm also using Annabelle. This is the Twist Up Retractable Lipstick Crayon in Romance, I think it's called. Where is it? Yep, yeah, Romance. And this will also kind of capture that little bit of pink detailing. So this is the end result for book number one. I think I got pretty well all of the colors in there. This is my interpretation of it anyway. So if you'd like to see more looks, stick around. I'm going to be doing three in this video and then three in a second video. 
So this is book number two that we're going to be basing look number two on. This one has a lot more sort of yellows, oranges, a little bit of red, but it's also got sort of these cooler tones running through it as well. So it's going to be kind of interesting to mix the two. I <laughs> uh, haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. And so I'll zoom you in again and we'll start on look two. Very first color I'm going to start with is this one here. This is a matte mustard yellow. I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my crease here. On the inner lid, I am taking this yellow-orange matte shade. I'm just going to leave a little bit of space on the inner corner, but not too much. I'm just kind of using the same brush to blend that right into the crease color here. Next color I'm taking is this one here. This is a matte olive green. This is going to go on the outer crease. Build that up slowly. I don't want it to overtake the yellow and I don't want it to be too harsh. Kind of depends on how pigmented your eyeshadow is. This one is pretty pigmented. I want it to be fairly soft through the crease. Center of the lid taking this sort of seafoam green matte. And with this you have to be kind of careful because orange and green do not sit next to each other on the color spectrum so blending them together is going to be a little bit more tricky than blending say yellow and orange together and i'm going to finish up with a really warm sort of red toned brown on the outer corner Again, I'm not making that really, really dark. I am blending that quite a bit because I kind of want the brightest colors to be on the inner portion and then the outer portion to be really blended out. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of this matte red and just start blending that out. On the inner corner, I'm taking this glitter multi-chrome, which has a lot of different colors in it. And it's got sort of this brown base with lime green, pink, and a few other colors in it. Just taking that on a domed brush. And the base is quite sheer, so a lot of the glitters are gonna show up and not so much the base. And the glitter colors are a lot of the same colors that are in the cover, so that's what I'm going for here. Also just going to take a little bit of this shimmering yellow gold underneath the brow bone. And just finishing that with a little bit of mascara. So this is the eye look for book number two. 
I already have a little bit of bronzer and highlighter on from when I went out earlier, so I just need to put on a little bit of blush and a little bit of lipstick. For blush, I'm just going to take one of the blushes from this e.l.f. face palette. And I'll be using this Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Dolce. So this is look two for book two. I think I was able to get, again, most of the colors. I wasn't sure how I was going to execute it. I just kind of just winged it and I think it turned out okay. So if you want to see uh, look number three for book number three, then just stay tuned. Now I'm moving on to book number three. And this has a lot of sort of deeper purples. Uh, sort of some pink tones, does have some turquoises and greens, so we're probably going to have quite a bit of fun with this look here, and we'll see what we come up with. So I'm going to start with a matte sort of olive green shade through the crease. This is a pretty deep olive. There's going to be mostly deeper jewel tones for this look. I think I might do a halo eye this time. I haven't done one yet in this inspired by series of videos. I'm going to use this turquoise shade. And this is a metallic really bright turquoise. I'm going to take that on a smaller blending brush. I'm going to blend that through the crease a bit. I'm also going to put that on the inner and outer corner. I'm going to leave the center of the lid empty for now. So I have a different color that's going to go there. And using this brush is nice because I can already start the blending process. On the center of the lid, I'm taking a matte, deep sort of pinky purple shade. I guess you could say it's a deeper magenta. And now I have to work on blending those two together since they don't really blend, not yet. I'm just going to take a little bit of the previous turquoise shade and start going over the edges of the center lid shade. It might make a little bit more of a blue-based purple when they join, and that's absolutely fine too, because there are different shades of purple in the image. And also to help that blend just a little bit more, I am actually going to take a little bit of a matte purple, not too much, and kind of go in the blending space in between the two lid colors. And that, um, not, and that not only helps to blend, but it also just adds some extra color and oomph to the lid. So 
So I'm also going to take that same purple on the lower lash line. And kind of blend out with a little bit more turquoise. I'm going to take this sort of warm golden glitter multi-chrome with a wet angled brush and I'm going to stamp that on as an eyeliner just to get some of that gold detailing. I'm not going to make it into a wing, I just want to have a line of it on the upper lash line. Also going to take a little bit of the, its neighboring glitter multichrome, which is like a pink lime and gold, and use that on the inner corner, just with my pinky finger. This is the finished eye look for book three. For cheeks, I'm using the Pure Anana Press Cheek Color in Dahlia, which is very cool toned, sort of mauve. It's very pigmented, so I have to go in very carefully. I'm going to use this pink duochrome as a highlighter. Don't ask me why the green in this is all busted up because I didn't drop it or anything so I have no clue why it's basically shattering on me. And for lips I'm going to use a matte berry shade. And this is the finished look for book number three. I hope you enjoyed this first installment of Inspired by Wayward. And I will have the second video with three looks up probably pretty soon after this one. I just have to get the others filmed and edited. If you'd like to see other Inspired by videos, I have another playlist that I have a link down below. And if you want to see other content from me from around the internet, I'll have my links down below as well as all of the makeup information. If you want to subscribe for more entertainment, although I'm not that entertaining, <laughs> there is a button down below for that too. And if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Hope you are staying safe and well. I hope to see you very soon. Bye everyone.